Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to TT Alaman right on the edge on the Xbox One X. First thing we're going to do is buy a new super bike. We've got enough money, so we could go for a BMW. We haven't unlocked all of them, but we could could go for Peter Hickman Smith's BMW. Honda, nah, we've already got a Honda, so that's fine. Kawasaki, yeah, we haven't got any really ones that I want to get. The decent ones are locked. Norton's locked. Suter's locked. Triumph isn't even a super bike. Neither is the Yamaha. So I'm going to go for Peter Hickman's Smith's BMW. And that is our new super bike, which hopefully we'll get to use soon. But uh, we've got to sort out some races. And hopefully uh, we'll get some high money races coming up. So we've got to do four. Four races of five laps around the Herefordshire circuit on a super sport. So we don't even get to use our BMW straight away. So we've got four races to do. <laughs> Let's go do this. Four races around here, five laps. That's basically 20 laps around here. That's uh, I probably won't show you guys all the races. Because you don't want to see... Oh, hello. You don't want to see me going around here for 20 laps, that's for sure. I mean, by the end of it, I'm probably going to be bored around this circuit, doing 20 laps, four races. But we're going to try and make up a position. There we go. Up to ninth. To the first little chicane. Kind of. Oh, no, we're back to last. We're back down to tenth. That's fine. Up the inside again. Yeah, we're up to seventh. And sixth. Okay, so we made a few places up now. We've got five laps to do around here. So we've got plenty of time to get our way to the front. Luckily, uh, it's in at noon, so we can see where we're going. Oh, hello, there we go. Oh, just made up three places and we're up to third. section out of here. A little bit of a gap to breach to second place, but not a huge gap. Fourth place is still right behind, which is William Dunlop. Oh, he's coming up the inside. He's gone round. Yeah, he's got us. Okay, so we're down to fourth. Side of Dunlop, there we go, and we're back into third. Come on. Come on catch the front two. Brakes, yeah, we're on the wrong side. Oh, we locked up the wheels there. Hopefully, lock the front up. That's not going to get us past to second place. We're on lap number two of five. Like I said, still got plenty of time to do this. Okay, we're going to get second place, are we? No, we're not. We're alongside him, but couldn't quite get past. The end of... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay, <laughs> that went horribly wrong, we managed to stay on, and we're back up to third, holy shit, okay, that I wasn't expecting, that caught me right off guard, I have no idea how we didn't actually go down, now we've got it all to do again. A bit too exuberant with the throttle trying to go through that right to uh, get up the inside and lost the rear. Okay, well, we're pretty much right with them again. Oh, that's not good. Okay, up the inside here. We're up to second. Just behind Hickman. In fact, we're in front of Hickman now. We are in the lead. 
we stay here? Drifting a little bit wide, but we're fine. So we've just finished lap number two, lap number three, and we are in the lead. Can we stay here? In the first corner, absolutely fine. Try and get away from Hickman if we can. I think we are pulling away very slowly to this left. Okay, let's take it easy around here now. Don't want to have the same thing happen again. That's a lot better. Lose the rear that time. Ooh, over the curve. Don't want to be doing that. Brakes. Down we go. Oh, a little bit too hot into that, but we still managed to make it through. That's fine. Okay, so we're coming to the end of lap number three. We have pulled away by quite a bit from Hickman in second. Lap number four, penultimate lap time. Picking us up now into the first corner. It's fine. This has been a, uh, a different race, that's for sure. We uh, didn't get the best of starts. Had to fight our way through the pack. Had a massive moment. Managed to save it just. And now we're in the lead, pulling away by quite a big margin. So if, if we got a good start, we would have probably just been in the lead pretty quickly and just pulled away really quickly. The two super sports I've got, I definitely prefer the Triumph over the Kawasaki. I haven't tried the Honda CBR 600. I have tried the Yamaha R6 in time trial. I mean, that was the first bike I went on when I played this game. Um, I still prefer the Triumph over the R6. But yeah, I would have to try the Honda at some point, but. I just want to get on my BMW now and uh, take that for a blast to see how that compares to the Honda CBR 1000 RR. The final lap now. And now we can keep saving money. I'm going to get quite a bit of money once we've done these four races. Like I said, I won't show you guys all four races. Just because otherwise we're going to be here for literally hours. Ain't no one want to be here for that long. So, I'll probably just show you guys maybe two full races and the end of the last race for this track. We are coming to the end towards the end of this first race. Oh, almost lost it again. Look at that gap, we've got a massive lead. That was with a poor start. Okay, no. Again, a little bit too hot into there. Through here. And it's just a 
case going around the final corner. Ooh, drifted wide. That was fine, though. Pull a wheelie. Nope. <laughs> okay. okay, well, that was a big fail. How not to wheelie across the line. Oh, and he's crashed again. <laughs> okay. Well, the only time we crashed was uh, me trying to pull a wheelie. Now we've got to do the race all over again. Well, we've got to do another three times, but like I said, I'll show you guys the next race. I'll miss the third race completely and just show you the last little bit of the final race, probably. Otherwise, yeah, you're just going to see me doing the same race four times. So here we go. For the second time, this time we're starting on pole because we won the first race. Here we all. No, another pretty horrendous start. Losing places left, right and centre. Well, actually, more just right, because they're all coming past on the right. They're all in the wall, being hit in the back. Our centre's wide. We're down to 9th, 10th, 10th. Well, that's fine. At least it gives us a little bit of uh, work to do. Go, oh, get out of the way. Find right another attempt. Get out of the way, up the inside. We are 8th. Side of this guy, just sneak through. Yep, seventh place. And to the left. And through there, that's fine. We're almost caught up to the first pack. Oh, we've got a good run out of there. Can't do anything with it at the moment. Though we can now, we're up to fifth now. Fifth place. Hickman is starting to break away. Starting to break away from Hegarty. Dunlop is far down. Yeah, that didn't help. We are up to third. Oh, right in the way help us. There we go, we're up to second now. Just Peter Hickman ahead of us. Okay, we're really close at that, that final corner. We're almost right with him. In fact, we're going for the inside. Probably a bit too hot into there. Oh, wheelie. He's still in the lead though, he's trying to come past. Oh, he has gone past. This is what I like to see, fighting. Okay, steady round here, Robo. Don't want another moment up the inside. Oh, hit the. Like where the one road joins another, it's very bumpy. And we're back past. Get out of here. Start going downhill. The trees. We've got the next chicane coming up. That was good. Out of it we come. Oh, almost on the grass. Through the right. And then we're almost at the end of lap number two. Yeah, that is lap number two done. Three more to go. Three, four, and five. See, we've got a pretty decent gap between ourselves and Hickman now.
I'm waiting for that Norton Invitational to come up. That's really the, the bike I want to get next is the Norton. Need to get on the Suter at some point as well, the 500 two-stroke. Tunnel of trees again. Hard on the brakes. The chicane. Stop nicely for there. the line. There we go. Two left. Ultimate lap. Pulling away all the time. That gap is just stupidly big. I mean, one good thing about doing like four races at the same track in a row is that you do get to learn the track a lot quicker. But at the same time, if you can win the first race by a massive margin, then you know what the other outcomes are going to be before you even do them. And yeah, I just wish the AI was stronger so that we could be battling them for the win like the whole way through. Big bump there, which can unsettle you going into the right. But yeah, it would be nice for the AI to be a bit more competitive. We are even racing against some of the official riders. I mean, at the circuit like the TT, it's... I mean... You, your own worst enemy there because it all comes down to your time and yeah sometimes you, you can be really close to that AI time wise at the, uh, the TT depending on how gingerly you go around but yeah yeah short tracks I think the AI can definitely do with being quicker I'm hoping that's going to be one of the fixes for the, the game Even if they just like made a, I don't know, a few seconds quicker, that'd be good. But yeah, I definitely won't show you guys the third race, but I will show you the end of the final race. Because otherwise, most of the races are going to be me going around doing my own thing. There's a bump coming up, this bump here, that has caught me out a few times in time trial before. So I tend to slow down before I get to the bump, otherwise if you slow down on the bump, you uh, tend to lose the rear, or if you go in there in like fifth gear, the rear comes around. And yeah, so that's why I tend to slow down in fourth gear, just before the bump. Okay, one final corner to go. And then we are done with the second of four races around here. And there we go. Done and dusted. How much did we win this one by? Well, over a minute. So we got two more races to do around here. But like I said... I'm only going to show you guys the end of the final race. So we're at the end, at the final corner of the final race around here. And it is going to be another win. And there we go, we've won all four. And 
We won by 40 seconds at time. So that is that done. We managed to win all four. Took quite a while to do all four of those races. So hopefully the next race we can use our BMW. Please let us use our BMW. No. Yes. Superbike. That's what we want to do. Use our BMW. Oh, and what a surprise. Look at what circuit it is. The Milford Street Circuit, the one we've done about 20 million times already. Let's see how we get on with the BMW. I'll tell you one thing straight away, compared to the Honda, it accelerates really well. In fact, it accelerates quite viciously. The rear trying to step out every time you put the throttle on. Feels more agile than the Honda as well. Feels like you can change direction a bit quicker. But I don't think it has the top speed of the Honda. Yeah. I mean, if I'm honest, this is the first lap around here, and when I was using the Honda Fireblade, it didn't feel like it wanted to fit around this track very well. But the BMW S1000RR, it definitely feels, like I said, it feels more agile, so it feels like it fits around here a bit better. Because it's got really good acceleration, it doesn't feel like it's struggling to stretch its legs either, like the Honda did. Might be a completely different thing at a longer circuit, or even at the full TT course. the Honda there felt good and the top speed of it really helped especially on the long straights that might be a hindrance with the BMW there but on this track it feels pretty good yeah on this track I would definitely say it feels better than the Honda it just accelerates really well getting sixth gear Okay, well this is uh, a little bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as the Honda. Like I said, top speed wise it is definitely lacking. I mean, we can't exactly go top speed around here. But it feels like it's not going to be as quick in a straight line. Acceleration wise it is quicker. Handling wise it feels better. Just have to watch that rear. So I do have to go careful applying the throttle with this bike. So it really does feel like it would quite happily step out at any time. And just a drag to the line. And that's going to be this one done. And I believe we've got to do three races around here. Again. Annoyingly. Because this game seems to love this track for some reason. And I don't know why. But the amount of times I've been around this track is crazy. It's definitely, in my career on this game, it's definitely the track that has come up a hell of a lot more than all the others. I was hoping I wasn't going to see it so soon. I managed to go one whole video without seeing it in the last video. But no, it decided to rear its ugly head again. And off we go again. Aboard the BMW. The rear stepped out a little bit there. Managed to control it. Oh, again, stepping out a little bit. it all together. I am liking the feeling of this BMW. Ooh, 
almost lost it. Almost completely lost it. Yeah, it feels like the kind of bike that if you start pushing it a bit too much, it's going to bite your head off. Seems like there's a very, very fine line between the limit and just completely crashing. If we can do decent races on uh, a circuit like this, then it can only be a good thing for longer circuits. Through the right, and into this tight left, through the shipping containers. One of them has got to have my Norton in. One of them has to have my Norton in it. Maybe it's one of them. Okay, final lap again. Drifting a little bit wide. Just slivering about a little bit. Yeah, first impressions of the BMW are, are good. I do need to test it on a longer circuit just to see what it's like with some long straights in there. We are done for the second time. That should be another win. Hopefully it won't glitch like last time. Well, we want to do it. Okay, final lap of the final race. do four races around here. This is the fourth and final one. Final lap. But yeah, I've enjoyed using the BMW so far. I think by the end of this, we've almost got enough money to buy another bike. So, I know I mean that there's we have to do a lot of the same races, but when you've got like four races in a row at the same track, you get quite a bit of money for doing them. And done! So there we go. All four races done. And we won all of them. And we won overall. Anyway guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.